dies for that. Well, there seems to be a lot of recent confusion regarding mammograms. What age do you start and should you get them annually and how effective are they? KTK's Alexa Vogue has the answers. It was 13 years ago when Dorothy Taylor got a call that would change her life forever. I cried for two days and I stopped. I said, okay, Lord, this is, if you, if I got to go through this, you got to go through this with me because I can't do it by myself. Taylor was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 46, something she didn't see coming and definitely wasn't ready for. It was a scary journey because I knew no one. But she sits in front of us today because she found it early. When I found it, it was like nobody in the world could tell me it wasn't cancer. I just knew it. I was not going to just wait and do nothing. After two mammograms came back negative, Taylor had an ultrasound that ultimately found the cancer. Ultrasound along with breast MRI are two of the supplemental screening options at the Ross Breast Center. We're the only one I know of in the region that has an actively promoted supplemental screening program. And I think that's the difference between our center and other centers is that we're very aggressive. We want to get the information out. For women with family history or dense breasts, these new options can be life-saving. And despite recent studies arguing the importance of annual mammograms, Dr. Larinaga says they're key to early detection. If you want to give yourself the best possible protection, I think you should get yearly mammograms. And if you have dense breasts, you should consider some kind of supplement like ultrasound or MRI. What are you waiting on? Cancer, don't wait. Alexa Vogue, KETK News.